Hi, somebody asked recently how you write text in a spiral. And I said that when I got time, I would show you how to do it. The easiest way to do it would be to use Inkscape. So I've got a blank Inkscape page open. And if you don't know what Inkscape is, if you go to my blog and scroll to the bottom of the page, there are direct links on where you can get and download this program onto your computer for both Windows and Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the spiral tool here in Inkscape. So I've got a blank page selected and I'm going to come and select the spiral icon. So once I select that, if you look up the top here, the icons will change. So I'm going to click that And then you'll see we've got new options here. Now, this isn't a foolproof method. You're going to have to play around with this. And it depends how much text you're writing and what size. But the examples I'm going to show you today are all made using the settings that you can see here. So under turns, I've got three. And if you don't know how to do that, just click and highlight the number and then type three on your keyboard and enter. In the next box along, I'm using one. So again, if yours doesn't say one, just highlight the words, click one on your keyboard and enter. And then in a radius, I'm leaving as it is 0 0.000. Again, if yours is different, just change it. So now when I hover over the page, you'll see I've got a spiral icon. So I'm going to left click and while keeping the left click on the mouse down i'm going to drag out a spiral so i'm dragging the mouse slightly to the right and then i'm going to let go and select it now i'm going to show you a couple of different options so what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this three more times so while it's selected i'm going to right click and hit duplicate then I'm going to do it again. And there's a bit of a delay on my screen, but it's because I'm doing a screen recording. Yours should work a bit quicker than this. So there you go. I've got four spirals now in total. So I'm going to select the first one and just bring it over here. Now I'm going to type some words. So I'm going to come to the text icon. And now you can see on my cursor I've got a letter A. So I'm going to left click once on the page and I'm going to start typing. And I'm just going to type bar bar black sheep. Um, you can type whatever you want. And again, I'm going to do this in size 14 on the point. Normal text when you're typing on a computer or a typewriter is generally, I think, around about 10 or 12 point. But I'm thinking that if you were wanting to do this, you know, on the front of a card or on the inside of a greeting card, then you might want it slightly bigger. So I'm using 14 and I'm just going to start typing my text. Okay, so there's my text. I'm going to select the, the um, selection icon so it selects the text. Now, as that looks at the moment, the spaces are a bit too far apart for me. So I'm going to click the text icon with the text selected and that brings up the extra options here. Now, the one that I want is this one, the second one, spacing between letters. I'm going to click the down arrow and make it 0, 0.00 and that puts the spacings now as I want it within the words. If I wanted the words closer together, I could hover over and change this, but I'm happy with the spacing between the words. It was just the spacing between the letters that I wasn't happy with. 
So again, while I've got this selected, I'm going to duplicate it three more times. Obviously, you don't have to do this. It's just because I want to show you more than one example. So I'm going to come back to the first spiral. Now, I've got it selected. And you don't necessarily have to do this step, but I prefer to do it. And then I know that hopefully it works out right and it comes into Canvas properly. So with this selected, the first thing I'm going to do is come up to the path icon and select object to path. That then converts the spiral from a spiral shape to a path. If you look down here, if I click on this one and you look down here, it says it's a spiral with that many turns. But now I've selected this one and done path object to path, it tells me it's a path. Okay, so that's my path and this is my text. And we want to put the text around this shape. So I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both of these two objects so that I get both selected. And I'm going to come to text, put on path. And then straight away that puts that text on that path for me. Now without clicking it or touching it while it's all still selected, I'm going to go back to path and go to object to path. Then I'm just going to click anywhere on the page to deselect and then I'm going to click on the spiral and drag the spiral away. If you don't do that step, the two will be locked together and you won't be able to get the words just as they are in the shape of the spiral. So now I can select this spiral and I can delete it if I want. And because I've separated them by doing path object to path, when I delete this spiral, the words will stay. If I don't do that, when I delete the spiral, the words will disappear as well. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to bring the second one over. And then this time I'm going to flip the spiral. Now you can either select it and rotate it any way you like. Or I'm going to undo that. You can go to this icon here which is flip horizontally and it flips it for you. And then I'm going to bring a set of words in again. Again, I'm going to come to the object and I'm going to go path, object to path. And then this time I'm going to select these two elements and I'm going to go text, put on path. And again, it's put the text on the path, but it's a slightly opposite way because we flipped it. So again, while it's selected, I'm going to go to path object to path, click somewhere on the page to deselect it and then drag the spiral out of the way and delete it and then put the words over here. Now on both these examples here the words are coming from within the middle of the spiral and working towards the outside but if you might want your words going from the outside inwards. So I'm going to bring this spiral over. So to do that with it selected, you come back to path, but this time you use stroke to path. And you'll see this time that the line has gone thicker. So I'm going to bring my set of words in and I'm going to select both the objects. So the spiral that's now a stroke and the words and I'm going to go to text, put on path. 
and this time you'll see the words have started on the outside of the spiral and are working inwards. Now again, while everything's selected, I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path, click somewhere on the page to deselect, click on the spiral and drag it out of the way. And then you can see here now that the words are in a different shape. I'm going to select that spiral and delete it. Again, with this one, I'm just going to flip it. So I'm going to select it, flip it horizontally, go path, stroke to path, bring my words in, select both, and go text, put on path. Now, if I click anywhere to deselect, you'll see now again that it started on the outside and it's working its way in. Okay, so what you can do now, if you click somewhere to deselect and then click on the words and then click again so you get the rotation handles, you can now rotate this any way you like. Obviously, once you start rotating it, it takes it off the path a little. Then again, what you need to do is select everything. Go path, object to path, and then click anywhere on your page to deselect and click the spiral and drag the spiral out of the way and delete it. And then you've got your text. Now, the results that you're gonna get with this are dependent on how much text you've typed, what size you've typed it, and how big or small you've made your spiral. So you're gonna need to have to play around with this. You can always keep hitting the undo button and keep going back until you get it right, but I'm just showing you the basics. Now the one last step you need to do to ensure that this file opens correctly in Canvas is once you've got all your words as you want them, select them all, and with all your words selected, go Path, Union, and then save your file. So go File, Save As, I'm just going to call mine test, text, dot SVG, which is already selected. And down here, I've got plain SVG selected in the drop down. And then I'm going to put it on my desktop. Now, I'm just going to close Inkscape and open Canvas. I'm going to come to a new blank page. And then I'm going to come to the SVG icon and I'm going to go and find that test file I've just put on my desktop. And open it. And it'll tell me some shapes could not be converted, but that doesn't matter. Just select everything. Group it. And then I'm just going to drag it onto the page and make it bigger so hopefully you can see it. Now, I would ungroup these obviously because you're probably not going to want, if you make several shapes in one go, you're probably not going to want to write them all in one go. But the best way to do this is just select each one and make it a group you can then resize them to suit your project so this one I could drag it out and make it bigger depending on what I want to use it on now you may find that 
when you bring these into your scan and cut machine that they could still all be individual letters so just remember when you open this on the machine if when you go into the editing screen you've got little red um, selections just select all the word on your machine and make it a group but that's how to make text in a spiral shape using Inkscape obviously as I said you need to play around with it because it's determined by the amount of text that you're writing in the first place the size you're making it and the spiral and then again it will be determined by the pen you use and the amount of pressure that you use when you come to write it with your machine so i hope you found that helpful please give the video a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you in the next video thank you